Hey guys, another video here from Houston Jailbreak. Today I'm going to show you how to install this very cool tweet called HTC Animated Weather. Basically what it does is displays the time, date, and current weather similar to the HTC platform. This is a very popular tweak because once you set it up with your zip code, it will animate the weather on your screen according to the weather outside. So if it's raining outside or if it's sunny outside, you're going to see the exact same weather on your home screen. Now for those of you who don't want the weather animations to display, there is an option to disable it, so don't worry. Now this app is a free app which can be found in the City of Store, and it is compatible with iOS 4 and iOS 5 on the iPhone and iPod, including the iPhone 4S. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to download and set up the HTC Animated Weather Widget. But before we get started, there are a few apps that you would need in order for this to work. So I'm going to show you how to add a source in Cydia to download the apps that are necessary for the Weather Widget. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Cydia app, let it finish loading, and then you're going to click Manage at the bottom of the screen. Once you click Manage, tap on Sources. Then you're going to click edit in the top right and click add in the top left. And once that comes up, you're going to add in repo.insanelyi.com. Once you put that in, click add source. I've already added it, so I don't need to press it. But after you click add source, then you're going to click add anyway. Once you click add anyway, you're going to give it about 20 to 30 seconds to finish loading and then you'll see the Insanely I repository in your list of sources here. Now that you have successfully installed the source needed to download these apps, you want to click on the search tab at the bottom of Cydia, right there in the bottom right. And Once you click on the search tab, then you're going to type in iFile. I-F-I-L-E. And once it comes up, you're going to click on the one with the question mark next to it. As you can see, mine's checkmarked right there. Click install in the top right, and then click confirm. Now once you install that one, you need to go back to Cydia and search for multi-icon mover. And that icon for that one is going to be a small little blue smiley face. You're going to download and install that. And the last thing you need to install is Gridlock, G-R-I-D-L-O-C-K. You're going to search for Gridlock and install the one with the question mark right next to it. These are the additional tools needed to configure and set up the HTC Animated Weather Widget. So now that you have those apps installed from Cydia, you need to get the page ready that you would like to place the Weather Widget on. For example, I have mine on the very first page of my iPhone. You need to move all the apps that are on there to another page. So what you're going to do is put your finger on top of one until they start shaking. Once they start shaking, then you're going to tap each one that you would like to move until it, you see a red check mark appear. Once you get the check mark on it, then just go to the page that you want to move them to and press the home button. That's going to make all those apps go from the page that you were just on to the new page. You're going to want to do this to clear off whatever page you would like to use to put the HTC Weather Widget on. Now that you've cleaned up a page and got it ready for the HTC Weather Animated, you want to go back into Cydia, click search in the bottom right, and you're going to start typing in HTC Weather. It's going to be the very first one that pops up in the search results. Just click on that, and then in the top right, you're going to click Install, followed by Confirm. Okay, next step you're going to want to do is look for the Per Page HTML app on your phone. It's going to look something like this right here. It'll say Per Page right under it. Go ahead and click on that and open it up. Then you're going to tap on the HTC any PPH. It's going to ask you what page you would like to put it on. 
For this tutorial, I'll be putting it on the first page, but you can put it on any page you would like to put it on. So I'm going to press page 1. I already have it, but I would press page 1. Once you select the page you want it on, just click the home home button. It's going to close out of the app and it'll respring. Okay, now for the last step, you're going to need to open up the iFile app that you would downloaded from Cydia. Once you open that up, in the top left corner, you want to click that to go back a page. Keep going all the way back until the button disappears. All right, and once you do that, you're going to click on VAR. Scroll down and look for mobile. After you click on mobile, then library, followed by per page HTML. Then you're going to click on the HTC Annie PPH. And the file that we need to edit is the configureme.js. So you're just going to click on it there. When this comes up in the top left, you want to click edit. And then you're going to look for the part that shows the zip code. It's on the var locale line right there. There's going to be some numbers already in there. That's fine. You just want to put your finger on it until the little mic magnifying glass comes up and look for the part where the numbers are. You're going to delete those numbers and you're going to in insert your own zip code there. Make sure that you don't delete the quotations. Keep the quotations. Then drop down a line to the one that says var is Celsius and you're going to change that to false. And then the last line that you would need to change is at the very bottom, the one that says show weather any. This is the animation. Now if you want the animation to show, you're obviously going to set it to true. If you just want it to have a clock, show the date and the time without the animations, then leave it at false. Now once you've edited all those, you're going to click save in the top right, followed by done. Then close out of iFile go back into the per page app click on the HTC and whatever page that you have the widget installed on click it again so like mine would be the first page click page one after you click it close out of it your phone is going to respring and after it resprings then you'll notice the animation has come on and you'll notice the city has been changed to the zip code that you put in Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a great day.